going on everybody it's portal back with another madden 22 video guys we have the first madden 22 mutt all info access stream guys this is the this is the yearly special stream that we always get regarding the big mutt drop guys this is gonna be pretty much everything mutt mutt master team captains auction card art um strategy training ability guys this is pretty much mutt early revealed right we get this every year um, it's a lot earlier than last year last year We got this like a few days before the early access of EA access right for the EA, EA access early access So we're getting this almost two weeks prior to when that would have been so we would have actually gotten this this week Technically because Madden dropped on the 25th for EA access last year this year We're getting it August 12th, but anyways before we get into the video guys We have tons to go over so stay with me hit that subscribe button boys new Madden 22 seasons We're gonna be going all in as much as we can gonna be staying away from all their games got to go all in on Madden this year So make sure to subscribe Turn that bell and like. You guys won't regret it. Thank you for watching. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, where I do keep you guys up to date with myself and what goes on, head on down below to the comments. And there should be a link somewhere down there. I believe I still have it there. So do that. Let's get into it. So announcements. Good morning, Madden next week. August 2nd to the 6th. Various top five position reveals, which is super cool. So first we got right here, guys, we have Zach Martin. The stream quality was a little iffy at times. So if it's a little blurry, I'm sorry for that. Zach Martin, 87 base elite. You'll see a few of these throughout. Let's get into the real info, though. So here's going to be the home screen. This is going to be pretty much everything you want to be seeing for Madden 22 interface wise, right? So look, take a look here. This is going to be the, the whole screen similar to last year, but they did add a mission tracker, which I'm super excited for, which will track your like uh, XP, your levels, your challenges are almost done with weekly objectives. So that's super cool. Okay. So here we got the, uh, the team strategy, new implementation this year, where we're going to be getting pretty much team, you know, player cams are like lockdown, play fake, go deep. They're going to be doing that as a card that affect the whole team which is a super good implementation as well because now you don't have to go sit there for like 25 minutes going one by one by one, losing training on everyone. One card, get it done, there's four slots. The greens, uncommon, and the silver are commons are probably rares, legendary, epic, so on and so forth, you know the deal. So here's one of the cards, elite passer. You can get a plus short, medium, deep, and play action from this one card. Of course, that's just uncommon. So if you get, let's say, a rare one at some point, or so on and so forth you're gonna get way more boost and they did say they will be adding more of these throughout the year so don't think there's only four slots that could be six seven a special zero chill one a special one for uh, most of them that makes your players enrage that could be cool so there's right here you see there's tiers and the training on it every total cost you get gets another another chemistry slot so there's 100 training 200 325 so on and so forth uh here are just some of the ones you can get there's elite passer mind reader play fake then there's elite passer again but in common so the uncommon the common one has the three the uncommon has four so as you get on we'll get more of uh, ability upgrades so here you go this is the pre-order bonus patrick mahomes 88 overall powered up guys this card will be a 89 overall super fire card um the throw actually shortage you guys see there's a 92 so that's only going to be if you put the uh pass uh, elite passer on there so you're gonna be able to get some thresholds with mahomes which is super cool because let's say you could even dupe those or in general you can easily all year long get a lot of thresholds done with those things versus having to go other routes with this so I, I really do appreciate that as well because i feel like a lot of the times there's certain players you get who would be so good if they could just get a pretty easy uh threshold boost that's definitely pretty cool as well next we have some a few more picks like i said quality dropped a few times so this is just showing you the ap stuff right here halftime adjustments on offense so here you go guys halftime 55 seconds uh, as you see on the clock in there you can go ahead and make adjustments to abilities and x-factors mid-game or change players right so you could instead of having tom brady uh with his omaha activated you can switch it to tyree kill with his go deep and all his stuff on there right now the thing that's cool about this is guys if you're versing a guy so you come out with a team that's very pass defensive oriented and you verse someone who's running the running a hundred times in one game like just running down you could easily switch to all your defensive linemen to have, you know, inside zone, inside zone, outside zone, outside zone, goal line stuff, and so on and so forth, and completely counter them. And if they don't switch up to a passing, which is going to be strategy as well, could be hurt a little bit. Uh, we have Derek Henry here, so stats. This is a cool implementation again. They will be keeping card stats per user in all time. So you can click on your Derek Henry and see that he has like 1,200 yards and 15 touchdowns already in the first week of Madden. And you can see your stats. You can pretty much see, like, how good do you do with these guys? Like, what's your yards per carry? So, okay, when I have Derrick Henry, I average 3.1 yards per carry. McCaffrey, though, I was averaging close to 4 yards per carry. So, I'm clearly better with McCaffrey. You could see a lot of next-gen uh, stats, too, as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, moving on forward, guys, to here. So, rushing attempts, 4. Rushing yards, 39. Rushing touchdowns, 1. So on and so forth. Fred Warner, this is just a power picture here. Two solo tackles, two tackle assists. Patrick Mahomes against here are the next gen stats you see longest passing yards air distance and then average time to throw again so that's tracking how long it takes him to throw the ball from when he throws to the end of it and then as we move on down ultimate season 
another thing i'm super excited for is gonna be ultimate season so pretty much guys it's gonna be similar to the battle pass of madden if you want to call it that so every 90 days there'll be an ultimate season which you can go ahead and get up to level 50 and once that is done after the 90 days it will reset back to level one so it's very similar to like a fortnite cod battle pass because pretty much you're able to go ahead and just redo it every time so there's gonna be daily objectives and you don't level up just by playing a solo over and over again it seems like it seems like you do it by here um by just going ahead and doing objectives so you can go ahead and play seasons you can go ahead and do whatever pretty much you want and you're going to be able to go ahead and go through them one by one and get them up now this will make grinding to maximum level day one a lot harder than it used to be but i don't think it's going to be i don't think it's going to be crazy i don't think it's going to be something that you have to really just worry about and you know go ahead day one and do but i think you can still do it i don't think it's going to be the easiest thing to do but it's doable and again going to be super cool and as you see there a 91 overall season edition player a player you get exclusively for completing the season similar to battle pass finishing and getting a skin fortnite or a gun something i'm very excited for you can see the daily objectives here weekly ultimate season rewards a very simple page here then as you're going down win a game win two games purchase a pack extended daily very simple the usual daily objectives um again ultimate season rewards level two level three level four level five now if you read here as you guys can see the packs are definitely brought down a lot in terms of what they were last year so at level 46 you're only getting a common strategy item level 47 you're earning a gridiron pack level 48 you're earning an 87 to 88 overall power pack which is your pa power pass pretty much so that's pretty cool as well um the power pass are probably going to be the best part of level ups it's not going to end up being like all the extra coins you get which is last year they were super op and people farmed the hell out of them so glad they're fixing that and then reach level 49 because again with the issue of farming is guys it does inflate the market it does destroy certain things and again i was all for everyone getting it but then of course there were some rumors that ea started slowing down content to avoid that which definitely sucks as well uh but uh yeah so let's keep moving on there's still a lot of stuff to go into ultimate season chapter one so again gonna be very similar it's like a battle pass so that's the first chapter earn 175 stars in campaign that's gonna get you 15,000 xp rush 4,000 yards 5,000 xp Force 30 fumbles, 5,000 XP. A lot of stuff you could do in solos, of course. You can still grind solos. We don't have to play maybe the same one over and over again. Unless you find one specifically that does it. Unless they make it so that you can't get stat, you can't double up on stats in the same solo. Which will be interesting. Um, Ryan Ramsick here, you can just pause and peep his stats. Hopkins. Tyree Kill, 89 speed on Tyree Kill, guys. He was a 90 last year, so his speed does drop a little bit. And the scary thing is, he's not even the fastest wide receiver in this game. EA Play, make sure you get these done, guys. This will be your cover athlete power fantasy pack exclusive ea play power of art elite 80 plus over wide receiver pack and 1500 coins this has to be done before august 20th so make sure you do play this uh, if you are an ea play member uh just some solo challenges is going to be easy solos to do for the ea play then there's the campaign mode which if you guys used to play campaign back in the day it used to just be exactly like that you pretty much play through an entire team season and you would get stuff related to the team so as you see here you play them execute any offensive play the thing ends so there's going to be campaign edition upgrades so I'm pretty sure you do most of this by playing those campaign solos, getting their base card for it, tossing whatever else you need, and so on and so forth. And you're going to be able to go ahead and get their um, their base card. And then you get a campaign edition upgrade and then exchange. So here you see Minka Fitzpatrick, Cameron Jordan, Bobby Wagner, so on and so forth. Um, Gridiron Tower. This is going to be similar, in my opinion, to last year's Rivals. Something that it's an upgradable solo kind of that keeps going on throughout the year. They did drop Rivals last year, but I'm hoping they do end up doing Gridiron Tower throughout the year. So, welcome to the Gridiron Tower. Completing challenges is the only way to scale this beast. The higher the climb, the better your rewards will be. Do have what it takes to reach the top. A new tower will be available on 10-5 at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, here, so see, featured tier. You get a free 87 overall JC Jackson and a 69 overall JC Jackson as well, which is super cool because, again, JC Jackson is typically one of the uh, fastest cornerbacks. Not the fastest, but he is still pretty fast, so you know you're going to be able to get a pretty good uh, cornerback right there. That can play for a while. It's it's, uh, it's also position with depth. Next, we have Team Affinity. Super cool little arrow logo right up there. Similar to Power Ups, kind of. You see Team Captains and Team Builder goals in there. Team Captains. Power up your Team Captain with Team Captain tokens. Earn them by completing these activities. And sorry if I'm talking a little fast, guys. Lots to go over. I feel like this is more efficient for your time. But anyways, complete any seven of these activities to earn a nat 84 overall Team Builder player. Lance Orwell, all, uh, Allworth. So I'm going to go up to where he's an 89, obviously, right here. Um, he will have an 88 speed, which is very notable. Pause again if you want to see stats. 88 speed, so one of the faster receivers in the game. Probably the best team captain choice. Then we see Jack Youngblood is another team captain. We'll have an 82 speed. Good finesse, good power, good block shed. Very well-rounded. Decent uh, team captain choice. John Lynch, similar to a raw 
an Atwater day one card, 86 speed, 89 hit power, and 87 zone. Very good as well. And the final one's going to be Sean Alexander with an 86 speed, 89 truck. Very similar to Eddie George. In my opinion, Lance Allworth is the best one, followed by Lynch. Team captains. They get three times Team Buck in the beginning, which means they get, I'm pretty sure, three Team Chems. The campaign, well, three times that Team Chem. Um, each ability costs five training. You get it from the campaign week three virtual season. Each superstar X Factor ability is only 10 training, guys. This is huge. To put abilities and X Factor on these players, it will cost five training for an ability, and X Factor will be 10. So no more 1,000 for them only. This will incentivize using your team captain more because you can get, you can get, and also it costs five training to get them from 85 to 89. No more tokens, no more solos, any of that stuff. So you can get Lance Allworth up to an 88 speed, max 89 overall, fully abilityed out and chemmed up for like under 50 training. It's very crazy. Definitely highly recommend using your team captain, at least in the beginning of the year, and maybe longer to keep upgrading them well. Next we have here, Team Affinity, as you guys see, are complete 30 games, 75 team tackles, 15 sacks. The usual stuff to go ahead and get your stuff. So here's some card art. We got Anthony Barr. He's going to be one of the Team Affinity players. We have um, Chase Claypool, 87 speed, very, very fast as well. Very close to Tyreek, a lot of these guys, which is pretty cool. Jalen Smith, another Team Affinity player. I feel like he always gets a day one Nat card. Justin Herbert, another Team Affinity card. And then we got Landon Collins, 83 speed, decent. Core rookie exchange, guys. So there's going to be a Devonta Smith as the uh, the rookie champion, which is what Saquon was a few years ago with the 88. I'm super excited about this. Devonta Smith is a big name. Going to be a fun card. And I'm glad it's not a waste of a card like it has been in the past at times. 88 speed for Devonta Smith. 85 catching. Mid-tier 80 route running. Going to be one of the better wide receivers in the game. You could probably... It's going to be an expensive set probably. Similar to Isaiah Simmons and Saquon. So it remains to be seen how easy it is to obtain him. We have ultimate champion. Cam Chancellor. 95 overall Cam Chancellor will be the Mutt Master. A.K.A. the ultimate champion. So we get Cam. Bam Cam, you do the same thing as usual. 20 plus games with a 70 overall, get you your first token, collectible, 40 plus games, so on and so forth. So these are Cam stats at a 95. 92 speed, 95 excel, 93 tackle, 93 play rec, 93 pursuit, 87 man, 92 zone, 93 power. Gonna be the best card probably in the game on defense. The only caveat I have with him is that's a 95. So at a 99, I'm not sure if he'll get 99 speed. I'm gonna hope he gets like a 96, and then you can probably get like, let's say they put Sprinter or so on and so forth on him. Maybe that's gone. Maybe that's something similar that they haven't unveiled yet. Not sure. But this means that he will really struggle to get 99 speed, which will hurt him for the total as a player in a year all year. Hopefully they do address that. But he's six foot three. So he's gonna be super big, big user, big hitter. Put him in the box, put him deep. Gonna be crazy. And he and he gets a cornerback cam, which I'll show you guys here. 87 block shot, by the way, which means one of the best run stopping defensive players in the game in the secondary. These are his abilities are Reinforcement Elite, which he gets to start the game. If you put Reinforcement Elite on him, it costs 6 AP, but he does get it right off the bat, right when the game starts. So higher chance to defeat run block, so he's going to be crazy in the run game. And then you see here, secondary position, cornerback. You put him at corner. With that block shed, guys, block shed, if you put him at like the inside corner, block shed, uh, block shed plus the hit power, plus the speed and height, he's going to be crazy in that spot. Uh, so Superstar X Factor, again, you can get in the beginning. We talked about this already. Pause this if you want to read it again. Next, we have Superstar MVP, another day one promo, just like we have every year. These are players that have the X Factor and their Superstar ability off of the rip on the cards. So you, you don't have to power them up. You don't have to get by training. The cards come with two abilities and an X Factor, if they're the, you know, the, the good ones, uh, the top tier ones. Here's some of the challenges. Pause that if you want to read through. We have Terry McLaurin, Scary Terry with an 88 speed, another really fast. He only gets Matchup Nightmare and Comeback, though, which isn't exactly the greatest abilities, which will hurt him. Marlon Humphrey, 87 speed, super great day one corner with high man, high press. Um, doesn't show any abilities on him here though, which is weird. Saquon Barkley as well, gonna be the probably the best day one running back. 88 speed, 88 excel, 88 change of direction. I'm a Giants fan, super excited about this Saquon Barkley guy. It's gonna be a probably the first pickup I can make with coins. It's gonna probably be Saquon Barkley, and I'm excited to see what abilities and stuff he gets on him because I don't see anything here, which is kind of weird. Jalen Ramsey, basically 85 speed, 88 excel. Sorry. 88 man, 70, 86 zone, 89 press. Powered up and chemmed up, probably can get all thresholds from the rip with a faster speed than usual. Really good cornerback card. Pre-order edition, Peyton Manning. Pause if you'd like. And then same thing with Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson's obviously the better of the two. Um, I really like Charles Woodson. 86 speed at corner, not going to be a bad to start, especially just because for depth, you can get up to four corners, even five. Here's some more pre-order stuff. Not that important. You've definitely seen all this on Twitter already. This is the power up Tom Brady, power up Mahomes. Nothing too big there. Elite passer. And then, of course, guys, this is the NFL Stars Fantasy Pack that we do get with the 83 overalls. 
uh, you can get a, you get a few, I mean, it depends on how much stuff you have and how much pre-order stuff, but this is one of the ones, these cards usually aren't that great, gonna be, I usually pick a depth position here just to fill a spot in the team, maybe get some chems, so this is gonna be the Tom Brady pack that you do get, guys, this is the card, the 87 free one you get, this is the 88 Mahomes, which we went over earlier, now, these are the Legends Fantasy Packs, guys, and it's not just Tom Brady and Mahomes, it does come as a, bu a, tr a trio of three total players, so here's the uh, Tom Brady one, coming up next, these are really cool packs, by the way, Wes Welker you get for free, 86 speed for Wes, really good. Then you get Roddy Harrison, 84 speed at safety, not that great, but again, it's free. But here's the kicker, guys. With Patrick Mahomes, you get Randy Moss. So you get Tom Brady, Wes Welker, Rodney Harrison. With Mahomes, you get Randy Moss with an 87 speed, which almost makes this a no-brainer. You get Moss, and you get Deion Sanders. So if you take the Mahomes pack, you get Deion, Moss, and Mahomes. You have your Mahomes to Moss, day one, and you got Deion as your starting corner. Mahomes one is just crazy, guys. It's the best one by far. 88 speed Dion with 83 zone man, 84 play rec, and of course it's Dion Sanders. And they haven't really announced if these can be powered up and worked into his legend. That would be super cool as well. Or if not, you could just start him, of course, which is really cool. Here's some more veteran bonus stuff, which we went over in the past. Of course, the veterans lower the fantasy pack, guys. But that's about it for the video. Again, it was a mouthful. A lot to go over to get this up for you guys, so you guys can watch all this. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, boys. Come join the family for Madden 22. So can we get 50 likes in this video? That would be huge, guys. If you're watching, you're loyal. Like it. It helps the video out a ton. It helps me out. And, of course, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite new feature Madden 22 is. So far, guys, looks like a huge W. Looks like a super great game. Looks a lot better than it has in years past. And, of course, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter down below, you should see the link. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.